in therapy by talking about them first you know the medication you know which kind of stabilized a few things um, but then you know then talk therapy which I wholeheartedly believe in very strongly um, started as able to get some of that stuff out and uh, once I was able to get some of that stuff out then you know it was it was <laughs> it was very emotional the first first few sessions which was um, actually kind of uh, relieving in, in one aspect of it because it kind of shook that off of me and I understood a little bit more what was going on you know it doesn't happen overnight you know it's a gradual thing but all of a sudden one day you realize wow you know I can get up in the morning or wow you know I can actually laugh and enjoy and and see what's going on I think one thing that's really important um, about co-workers and and this could go to actually any group that interacts on a daily basis is to be aware okay of somebody else's moods somebody else's feelings you know I'm not at, I'm not saying dig in their lives and be nosy or anything like that but be aware you know raise your antenna up notice how people are how they pe how do people dress how do people you know uh, how do they look you know do they look happy do they look like all of a sudden their heads down have they gone for a period of time where maybe they just look like they haven't they got up in the morning and maybe they're, they're disheveled they just haven't taken care of themselves maybe you know by talking to them and we do this on a daily basis all the time how do you feel everybody says oh fine how are you doing fine you know we do that all the time but maybe if you've noticed something you know to take that second step and just say are you really doing okay because I've noticed these few things okay and, and ask them and um, that has that's a huge factor in, in, a, in a person who is feeling kind of disassociated might be at work just staring at the computer and not, not being able to do, you know to work um, call it presentism he's there but he's really not there and maybe noticing those things and say are you doing okay because that little step of like in, injection of hope into that person like okay now they have a chance to talk to somebody relieves a lot of stress and maybe you can help them get to uh, treatment or help that way